Okay, run 2D sonar, one of the most overlooked things is marking fish at speed. So we were just running about 25, 30 miles an hour, and then we just took a screenshot and a grab of this. And my sensitivity was like at about six, which in 17 foot of water was a little bit much, but as I go back here and just kind of clean up that clutter a little bit, you can see a lot, lot clearer picture. Little marks like that, if you have your transducer set up properly, those are actually, I'm gonna say walleyes, but they're fish at least that we marked at speed. But if you have your sensitivity too high, you know, it's gonna get lost in the clutter basically. But that's the advantage of having basically color sonars. You can see those little marks. Now when you get them when they're maybe twice the size of that and they're vertical, that's probably gonna be bait fish. If, but what you have to understand is, is when you're driving and those fish, people are thinking that they're looking for arches. But the arch is as you go through the cone. But what you have to understand at 30 miles an hour from here to here, maybe three, 400 yards. So that fish is only gonna be in the cone for a fraction of that time. And that's why this is basically an arch that's smashed together if you wanna think about it like that. So just tiny little nuggets like this are actually catchable size fish. In this case, probably walleyes. And when you get longer drawn out marks, much bigger than that, when you slow down, you're gonna see that those are actually balls of bait. So 2D sonar is the easiest way to narrow down water when you're fishing bigger lakes.